a list of inappropriate questions I have asked my mother. One, so do you think either of my sisters ever figured out that I'm your favorite? It's the 4th of July. We are staring out the window of the first grown-up apartment in my life, 3,000 miles from my birth. We've turned off the lights to watch as the Mission District belches fireworks above the rooftops with a practice, lazy rebellion. The view is better than any postcard ever made, and I am drunk. Swigging beer as though it's a birthright. Behind us, the living room gapes, cavernous. I am too broke to own furniture, but the hope is infectious. I have just pushed the malformed machinery of my adulthood off of a cliff, and this is the first moment it looks like the fucker might actually fly. I want her to celebrate, but the question comes out crooked, so she inhales, nostrils flared, lips puritan pressed white, and then says, you know what, I welcome home. Two, was it good? I'm 17 years old, and we are fixing her flat tire, stranded somewhere on the Jersey Turnpike between yet another disciplinary hearing with the State Board of Education and our apartment. The question before this had produced a measured trapeze leap response of yes, and I mistook that for an invitation. The question before had been a razor blade to naked throat, and so clumsy an anthropologist was I, I hadn't noticed the cost. I'd asked her, hey, so, have you ever had sex with a girl? Suddenly, the tire owns her attention, and she is looking anywhere but at me. Millennia pass without either of us breathing. She signals for me to bring her the wrench, fiddles with it, clears her throat twice, and then says, that is none of your business. Three, I hate you. I think I was in kindergarten. Don't remember why I said it, just her response. She collapsed to the kitchen floor and sobbed for three hours straight, tears and spit and snot mixing into this river of inconsolable as it poured from her face. She wouldn't let me touch her. I became a fistful of tissues, a constantly repeating apology with no idea of what I'd done or how to fix it. This is before she lost the house and her marriage to keep me before the decision to believe the holes in the wall over the man she married when he swore to never hit us again, before the 14-hour work days and the food banks and the missing child support checks, before I could possibly know what she would cut away, how her back would break to be my springboard. In terms of grammar, it wasn't a question, but I was asking a lot. Four. If I fail at all of this art bullshit and wallow away the rest of my life in mediocrity, will you still love me? That is a text message I sent about two weeks ago. <laughs> Drunk. There may be a theme here. And sick of avoiding empty pages, drowning myself in syrupy self-pity, I think it was wise she did not bother to respond. But the next time we talked, she said, you remember that ridiculous message you left me? Who the hell says that kind of shit to their mother? And anyway, of course, 